Hey guys, what's up? Shuckle King here. I'm at the uh, Schuylkill River, like at the at the mouth of the Schuylkill, where it meets the uh, Delaware River. Um, just here, just doing some fishing. Uh, looking at this beautiful sight line here. We got the, uh, the beautiful water. Yeah, look at that. That's great. All right, let's. Uh, I'm just here fishing. My fishing pole. So hopefully I can catch something that's pretty good. Something on the line. Let me see. Ooh. Ah, no. Come on. It's just a single glizzy. What is this? Ah, oh, that's garbage. <sighs> Who wants this? Hey, what's up, guys? Shuckle King here, bringing you week three for PPL. This week we are facing off against Mounte. It's going to be a fun battle. It's always fun playing Mante. I've got to know him over the last couple of years uh, playing Generation 8 Wi-Fi. It's been really nice to get to know him. Uh, and he's almost at 1,000 subs, so make sure you go uh, subscribe to his channel, get him monetized. That'd be great. Um, while you're at it, if you're here at this video, maybe you give a like and consider something to my channel as well. Really appreciate the support. So facing off against Mante, I believe we are one in two at all time. Um, with him winning in semifinals of Champions of Galar, uh, that was uh, quite an interesting end game there. I'll probably show some footage. You can see it right here or down below. Uh, but I did get a win in semifinals against him for uh, APA. So I will definitely take that. Uh, but hopefully we can make the record even. I'm pretty sure we're one in two. Uh, and I think I also lost earlier in the regular season uh, in APA. So, yeah, yeah, let's make this two and two. I'm fine with that. I don't think I have too many people I have a losing record against, but uh, Mante is definitely someone respectful to have a losing record against. So, his team, I feel like honestly, is my best matchup so far. Um, he still has really good mods, but. It felt like for my first two games, it was a lot harder to prep for what I wanted to bring than this one. So hopefully it goes well. He's a great player, so I know he's going to bring something that I'm not expecting at all. Um, and I might lose to it, but I think I have a pretty solid game plan here. So a couple months I think are pretty good against my team. He has Ursaring, which they could either be like special defensive a violate to take a hit from my Goldengo, or it could be like Jolly flame orb with trailblaze or maybe something like a mix in between those two sets Urshring has like a ton of versatility i really wanted to get it um for this league uh, so it's cool that mante is using it mante's using a lot of mons honestly and he told me before but i have a lot of mons that like if i didn't get the mons i had on my team i would get a lot of mons that were on mante's team and i think mante was like yeah, I wanted to hunt on Shuckle's team, but I picked these guys instead. But uh, he has a really, really neat roster. So yeah, Ursaring, good. Hatterene, I think that mana is awesome. Um, and it can be pretty annoying if it's a calm mindset. Now I do have two steals, um, so maybe you'd be deterred from bringing Hatterene, but it's a pretty good answer to Great Tusk. So I could see it coming for sure. Um, Guard Jump, just because it's it's probably his best mana. I think I rate it higher than Slow King, even though Slow King has a lot of versatility and it's probably better for the team itself. Um, it could be a Sword Stand Guard Jump, could be like Hazard setting, would definitely be annoying. Um, Slow King, I think it's pretty much guaranteed to come um, because it can set up um, Chili of Reception to get in this in Titan, which I think the Titan matches pretty well against my team getting its speed boost or. Um, just going sheer force with life orb that could do a ton of damage to my team because I don't have a ton of walls that really want to take it like an earthquake plus ice coverage like definitely is annoying to my team like with the Bax caliber um, week to a JV so maybe make a free agent move to, to make that not as big of an issue um, Kilowattril for the speed is definitely nice now I do have the Jolteon that adds speeds um, the Kilowattril could be flying water or ground so it could be water kilowattril and have the electric immunity so if i go for terra ice it's not doing a lot but like hyper voice still does a ton of kilowattril so jolteon's a pretty good answer to that um Sizzler could come i don't think it's like a guaranteed bring even though it's like one of its best mons um i feel like i have a lot of good responses to it tyranitar can come as like a special sponge but it kind of loses to like Azumarill, lose it to Zarud, Goldengo, and Great Tusk, like my top four, and then like Tinkaton, the Gigaton Hammer does a lot. So I'm not sure about Tyranitar. Alamomola could come, like Chilling Water, like Rocky Helmet, really physically defensive. That probably takes on my Great Tusk, unless I'm like 
bulk up, but even if I'm bulk up, like chilling water is going to beat that. So um, there are just some options I think he could bring. So my game plan here is first to lead with Espeon and get screens up as opposed to uh, what Jolteon that has screen, only light screen. Um, Espeon can do both. So that is definitely nice. Um, max HP, max speed, the speed well, allow me to outspeed Kilowattril if it's modest, like max speed modest, which I doubt that's a bring, but it could be modest and like not max speed. So I would outspeed it if he is any modest type of spread. Um, and I have Psychic for just dealing damage. I do have um, Terra Psychic, which might be able to do a KO Garchomp. It depends on his spread. Um, but I wanted that over Fairy because this is also a way to deter Slow King from sending up Toxic Spikes. I do have Great Tusk on this team, spoilers, but um, I think preventing T-Spikes like and getting my Great Tusk poison would be great, especially because I'm not having Rapid Spin on my Great Tusk this week. Um, so I want to make sure Slow King doesn't set up T-Spikes at Terra Fairy wouldn't work well against that, and then Terra Fire wouldn't work well against Jar Chumps and just clicks Earthquake. So I think Psychic is fine in this matchup, though Fairy would have been nice to hit Tyranitar. Um, and then Baton passed the fourth move, get momentum in, and probably get in the Tinkaton next. Because Tinkaton has Stealth Rocks, Sword Stands, um, Gigaton Hammer, and Play Rough. So this uh, Tinkaton is going to get Rocks up. There's a lot of calcs that I have that basically will kill, like, if Scizor takes Stealth Rocks damage and it's max HP, then I can kill. Like, there's a lot of calcs. Like, that's, like, the baseline of my team, even though, like, Scizor is not, like, Guaranteed to come, that was like my baseline for this game. So getting rocks up is definitely great for a lot of, of calcs there. Um, sword stance, um, I think can do a lot of damage to the team, especially with Shuckaberry and behind screens. Like I'll take any guard jump hit or urshring hit pretty easily. And he's not gonna have a ton of switch ins outside of Almamola. If that comes, then I'm probably not gonna try to set up sword stances. I have other Pokemon that can handle it. Um, but otherwise I think Tinkaton looks good here. Um, and I have Mold Breaker to guarantee you get rocks up against like a Magic Bounce Hatterene. So that is great. Um, another mod that doesn't handle Albamola or Hatterene for that matter is this Great Tusk. Uh, it's Choice Scarf. It's just my revenge killer. Um, not going to be a Pokemon I'm relying on to win me the game, but it should be able to add to be like the Kilowattrol and just pick up kills on just annoying things. Um, I do take on to Titan for the most part, unless I get the Belly Drum up. Um, or if it's like adamant sheer force with liquidation or ice cold crash, but outside of that I should live a hit um, Which is definitely okay um, Ice spinner is there to hit like the kilowattrol if it's terra flying I mean, it's always hitting it anyway, and then um, fire fang for the scissor um, I don't believe I killed max HP. It's like 85 to 100 percent. So again a reason why I want rocks on Tinkaton um, Now I have my two sweepers this game. So first is gonna be Gold Dango. And I think Gold Dango can do a decent amount of damage here. It allows speed Adamant and Titan and max speed Scizor. I think even like Jolly Scizor, I do add speed. Um, so I should be able to kill them if I get a plus two hit. Again, the calc is if I get a nasty plot up, then Shadow Ball is going to kill. Um, other than that, Focus West is there to hit the Tyranitar plus the Ursaring. Um, and I do have Salic Berry. So if like, like I'm going to try to stay healthy with this, but. Um, if I do get under 25% and then get a recover off, I'll get a Salic Berry and then I'll outspeed everything on the team that's not Scarfed or like set Titan under uh, Slash Rush. So I think that's going to be pretty funny and it's not the easiest for him to one hit KO me with, with anything on his team. Like a Garchomp Earthquake could kill, but hopefully I have screens up so it should be okay. Um, and the other Pokemon that might be able to sweep is Zarude. I'm able to get Zarude as kill leader, though um, Addison has a lot of kills with the Gardevoir right now. But Swords and Synthesis Trailblaze Crunch with Black Glasses. Again, the attack investment. Um, I'll kill a Max HP Scizor at plus two attack with Crunch. And then Crunch hits everything pretty hard on the team otherwise, plus uh, Trailblaze. Now, like, I don't have Breloom, but Breloom seems pretty tough that comes to this game. Um... But it, it could come, but I think it's pretty unlikely. Uh, so kind of banking on that. Um, yeah, this is like pretty bulky. Um, I just went the rest of the EVs and HP with the speed being there to um, outspeed a Drift Blim and get a crunch off. It could be Willow, so I do have to watch out for that. I should do a lot of, if it's like max defense, I believe I kill Drift Blim. If it's like max HP, max defense, and I might not kill. So watch out for that. And the last Pokemon I have is Quagsire, unaware. Um, I could take uh, 
an Earth Ring hit and kill with a counter, I can take three um, Adamant hits from uh, so Titan. Now I could get flinched by Icicle Crafts, which is unfortunate, and that's partially why I have Citrus Berry, to like make sure I live some hits, but ideally I Toxic, Recover, and then I'm fine against that mod. I really have counter there for the Ursa Ring. And then um, I can kind of deal with Kilowattra with the special defense EVs. I don't take a Terra Flying Hurricane, um, but he has to land two in a row. Um, if I get a Toxic off, then I'll be able to wear it down somewhat. Revenge Kill with Great Tusk. Probably live a hit with Tinkaton pretty easily. Same with Goldengo, at least somewhat. Um, it could definitely be Terra Flying and like just deal a lot of damage. Um, but with the prospect of Terra Ice with Jolteon, especially with a Garchomp, um, I think it's less likely that uh, Flying is going to come for the Kilowattro. So, yeah, it's my team. It's going to be a fun battle against Mante. Uh, but let's get right into this. Yeah, I didn't know you could actually catch him. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's great. A lot of people, they don't, you know, city fishing, and they don't realize how good it is, you know, and this is, I was born in Philadelphia, so the ability to fish my own city, fish my city is great. I got one. I got one. That's good. Got one. Oh, shit. All right, we are here against Mante. Let's do this. Okay. Um... I mean, I put in music in the background afterwards anyway, so it's not going to matter here. All right. Oh, I'm so excited for this game. It's going to be good. Who's he got? He got her Earth Ring Hatterene. Okay. So that. Guard Chomp. The Breloom does come, which I'm kind of surprised about. Uh, Kilowattrals here. Hatterene. And Earth Ring. Okay. Um, hopefully it's not like Trick Room. I did bring like min speed um, quag for that case, or did I? Oh, I don't know if I did. I think I was debating about it, but then decided it wasn't worth it. But looking at this matchup now, it might have been a good idea. Um, don't want to let toxic spikes get up. Think a ton and blocks pretty good in this game because there is no um, no Alma Mola. But we are gonna lead with Tyrese Maxi. We're gonna get my um, screens up, and I think we're in the clear. So yeah, Great Tusk looks fine. Can revenge kill stuff. Breloom, I don't know what it can do to Gold Dango. Like Gold Dango seems pretty free against it. Um, no Scizor, which is cool. Rocks might not be as important, but they're always good to get. So, um, so Rude, um, I definitely want Breloom weakened before Zerude can do anything. Breloom. Could be Focus Sash. Breloom. Could be Toxic Orb. Let me see. Breloom. Yeah, I don't think it has anything that can hit my... If it's like Fling. I know it gets Fling. It could be Fling Iron Ball or something like that. Ugh. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, we'll get a Reflect up. We're not gonna let him get hazard if um, I have anything to say about it. Game Shark, I like that nickname. Shout outs to uh, all you guys that know what Game Shark is, which I'm sure it's it's a sizable chunk of people here. Uh, yeah, Psychic, if it's like max HP, I do, like, I have a low chance to do a KO. Um, let's see, I do add speed so he's not Scarf. And he's go for an earthquake. Let's see how much damage he does. Let me get a calculator up. So that's 117 damage. Let's see, earthquake. It's like no attack. Zero attack, guard jump. I could just go for Terra and get a psychic up and see how much damage I'm doing. If I 2 a KO, then I'll probably go for it. Um, but because it's, um, because that Earthquake did so little, like, is it like 
Is it a roll? I feel like if he's max earth, quick max attack, it doesn't do, like it would do more than that. So I'm guessing it's a bulkier guard jump and I probably don't do a KO. But let's see, I should do like 45 of 53%. So I don't like those odds of two accounting. It's an 18% chance if he's like just max HP. But we're gonna get the Terra off. Go for a Psychic, maybe we'll get a crit. Let's see, let's see, are you a Salt Vest? Oh, uh, that's like right there for like max HP. Is Draco gonna kill? No, it does nothing, okay. 217 to 218, a jack pack. Okay, that's cool. It's a guard jump at 50%. Uh, Draco Meteor. It would have been cool if I got a... Uh... So it also doesn't look like it's much special attack either. Maybe even minus special attack. It looks like it's just max HP, max speed. Kilowatt drills in. Okay. The Pokemon I don't have um, switch ins too on this team. Um, I think I go into Bobon here. And I should take two because of my Citrus Berry, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, I mean, um, it was mainly here. I mean, it's nice to take on Ursaring though, but I have a Reflect up, so I think I'm fine for now. U turn would definitely be annoying, especially if you get like a Slow King. Because Espeon probably dies to a, a Sludge Bomb. But that would be, I don't know if you make that play if you're just Slow King. But it is like max speed, so like the Garchomp is not going to do a ton though at Earthquake, because it is like no attack. Let's see, are you Terra flying? I'm really hoping that's not the case. Um, because Hurricane, if he's modest flying, it's a 49% chance to a KO. And to ground, okay. Terra ground. Smogon bird, even though I feel like that's Talonflame. 349 to 225. Uh, Terra blast. Ground. Let's see, so that damage is um, 169, so it is modest, okay. So, yeah, that should be modest. I'll write that down. It could be a, a boosting item, like ground plate, or boosting, or modest. So I might have to be with my Espeon, which is good to know. Um, I think I just recover here. He's gonna switch out, which is nice. So I basically didn't lose a whole lot besides knowing that the Kilowattril is Terra Ground. Hatterene is here. Maybe predicting me to go for a spike. That's definitely fine, or a Toxic, so. Um, a Nuzzle could come off here. Uh, but I think I'm fine going into Tinkaton. I think Old Dango has more versatility than in Tinkaton this game. Let's see if you're gonna go for a Trick Room. And I think getting rocks up is probably not a bad idea. Let's see if you're like Calm Mind, but Mystical Fire is not gonna do a ton to me. Dazzling Gleam. 61. That's a pretty good hit. Nazzling Gleam, and it's not um, Life Orb. Uh, that's like no special attack. Okay. Uh, I should still have what? I have three turns to reflect up. Okay. Um, is Sword Stance my play? I think it is. I think it's Sword Stance and then I go for um, a Gigaton Hammer. Is Kelowatro gonna kill me? 
Mint Modest. Round. Oh no, it's not gonna kill me because I got Shuckaberry. Okay, he's gonna switch. I'll take that. Yeah, Terra Blast could do nothing. Game Shark, you're out. So I am gonna take a decent hit from um, an Earthquake, but I'll live it, and then Gigaton Hammer kills. And yeah, we're gonna just get that kill now. Rocks would be pretty annoying if he did go for it though. Okay, yeah, I'm fine with this. Not doing a whole lot. And then we kill a Gigaton Hammer. Play rough, could miss, so I don't wanna go for that. And um, I do get Rocky Helmet, or not Rocky Helmet, Rough Skin. Right? Why is it not showing it? Oh, Mold Breaker? I didn't even know Mold Breaker like, ignores that. Smogon Bird is coming out. And it's going to destroy me. So, I think we're going into Bobon here. Alright, so the Garchomp is down. I don't think it really accomplished what it wanted to do. So, I will take that as a win for me. It took away my um, Shuckaberry from my Tinkaton. So, like, it's not going to be as useful, but it can still spam, um... It can still spam Gingadon Hammer pretty free, even without an attack boost. Especially because that Mon is down. So, yeah, it's definitely still useful. Terror Blast, not going to do a ton. Yeah, 226, Reflect is off, okay. Let me double check that damage. 168, that's like basically the same damage as before. It is lightning outside right now. So let's see, two. Quagsire, 68, yeah, it should be modest. Um, we're gonna go for a recover again. I'll be at full and then I can go for liquidation. I mean, liquidation was pretty free to go for anyway. Um, but I'd rather keep this 100% health. Maybe keep the uh, Citrus Berry, but I think if I get the Citrus Berry off, I'll be like at 100%. Are you gonna go for another Terra Blast? Yeah. No crit, okay. 226 down to 73. 153, is that it? That's a little lower? Yeah, so that's like a mineral from Modest. Okay, so that still works out. Now, I think I go, I either go for a liquidation or go out into um, Tinkaton here, but I think liquidation's fine and just get a hit on the, on the Hatterene. It'll do decent damage with Mystical Fire. Let's see, I should do like 20% the Mass Fizzly Defensive. That looks like closer to 25%, which it could be in the range of just uh, max defensive, or maybe it's not quite max defensive, but pretty close. Um, I think you're still fine to have, because I, I still take two hits from Kilowattril. Um, do I bring in Tyrese Maxi here? Probably not. Um, I could also just go for liquidation again and then recover. Maybe you'd see him being uh, aggressive and going into Smogon Bird. Okay. We got it close to like 50%. Okay, the Trick Room does come off here. Are you, um... You could be Healing Wish? Mime it doesn't have Memento. Um, let me, let me see my spread of the Quagsire. Um, I had it slower. Um... I think I actually go for a recover here. So let me let me see, like an Earth Ring. Earth Ring that's like no speed. Quiet. It's not gonna be quiet, but um, I am faster than it. So I think I just recover here. Let's see what he brings out. Is it gonna be Earth Ring? Okay. I should be able to kill this with a counter. And I wanted that little extra HP to make sure I lived the hit, okay? 
We can go for an Earthquake here. That's going to do way less damage. Yeah, I'm going to go for a counter. Kill Ultra might be a little more annoying in the future, but um, if I can kill this Earthring, I will definitely take it. I believe I take this hit. I do. Okay, great. All right, Earthring is down. Nice. Nice. Okay. And I can prob I might be able to re get a recover up later on the uh, Hatterene. Yeah, but I knew Earthring with Flame Orb was definitely an issue, so that, that feels pretty nice. Um, now, Slow King is still here, which is pretty annoying. Uh, my uh, Zarud can't win yet because Braylon is still alive. Um, you probably just go for a Mock Punch here. You're really slow, though. That's going to be annoying. Um, I think I stay in and just go for a Toxic. You could be like a sub-Toxic set, I suppose. I don't think Liquidation's gonna break the sub, so that would be annoying. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty happy. The Hatterene is like at 50%. Do I miss? Okay, I miss. That's a, that's a little annoying. Bullets, he killed me with one hit. I don't think that, that shows much of anything. Um, Bray Loom is at 50%. Ed's Life Orb, okay. It's Life Orb, so it's not um, anything that should be able to hit my Gold Dengo. I could be missing something, but, like, there, I don't think there's anything Bray Loom can do to Dark. Dark. Fling. Ghost move, nothing. Fire move. Um, I think I just go for nasty plants here. I assume I take a kill a watch I'll hit. Bulldoze. Oh, well that's a move. I totally missed that. But I get my Salic Berry. That is quite something. Oh, that is definitely a throw. This 100% gets Bulldoze. What am I thinking? That's crazy. Does uh, Trick Room end? Okay. So I'm not totally punished by that move. Um, yeah, he was slower than me. So Shadow Ball should definitely kill. I could also recover, but I don't think there's any point there. That was a major throw by me, I guess. But actually, that was probably the best case scenario, to be honest. Uh, well, it was a throw for me to go into this mine to take a bulldoze in the first place. I was, I have no idea how I missed that in prep because Braylon definitely gets bulldoze, and that's definitely a way where it can hit my uh, my Goldango. But I think I get a kill here because the Earthring is dead, Garchomp is dead. Yeah, you gotta pick your sack here. Hatterene? Okay, fine. If I get a sword stance with my Zarud, can I beat the Breloom? It's probably like max HP. Yeah, it's definitely max HP, so I'm, I am not gonna kill it. If I get a sword stance up, Smogon Bird. I think, uh, do I still save this? Joel Embiid still looks pretty good clicking an Earthquake here. I do like 40% to the Breloom, so it's like borderline to a KO. Um, hmm, I might save it. Do I need... Screens at this point, I do outspeed, which is nice. Um, I don't outspeed the, um, I don't outspeed the Breloom with a Trick Room up, and Slow King can definitely do that. Yeah, I think I stay in and just go for a Shadow Ball here. Now, the follow-up play is I go into Espeon and, because it's, because it's Modest Kilowattrel. 
So I should add speed. Um, I think I kill with a psychic. Breloom. Life Orb, does that kill me with a mock punch? It shouldn't, no. Yeah. Uh, how much does Kilowatt drill? I do 88 to 103, so I don't kill. Um, Terra Blast. Is Terra Blast? Terra Blast is not going to kill me with a light screen on. Um, yeah, we'll get a light screen here. It's going to be helpful for the... Um, Oh, you are faster? Oh, you are, you're a ground boosting move then. Well, that's unfortunate. You're timid with, um, with soft sand? Oh, man. Yeah, I kind of, yeah, one of those rolls kind of felt weird. Ah, I should have noticed that. Um, is that problematic? Does Joe and Bead come in and kill? I should kill with a headlong rush. It could be some bulk. I'm kind of doubting it though. Ah, that's gonna be close. Yeah, I think I'm still fine. But I go for a headlong rush. Hell no, I'm scarf, but I don't think I can do too much about that. And man, it is really pouring outside. I have no idea if you guys can hear that or not, but. Hopefully you guys can hear me through this. Ah, oh, man. Well, that's gonna be a close one. Um, so Headlong Rush does 106% min to kill a Wattrel. Um, so Breloom could come out. If Breloom's like max HP. I think I do have to save the, um, save this mine, because I could go for an Ice Spinner right now, and that would kill the Breloom. Or it would, it would be pretty close to killing a Brim. I wouldn't kill, actually, but it would die to a life orb hit. But, um, Mach Punch is, I mean, not going to come close to killing me. Even with a minus one defense drop. Let's see what comes out. Yeah, it's at 80%. Yeah, that is, like, not safe enough for me to take, so... I think I sack something off here. Does Iggy take a hurricane? Now that I know that it's timid, kill a Wattrel. Hurricane, I do take it. So I think I sack this off. I think I can bring in my, uh, I think I can bring back in my Great Tusk and go for um, headlong rushes. And then I think I win the game. And so much damage. That's nice that I take a hit. Um, I guess you could Spore. And go for Sword Sand. So I think I just go for Gigaton Hammer. In case he switch, uh, in case he does something like that. Okay, so Tinkaton is down. I bring back Joel and Beat and go for Headlong Rush. I imagine the... Um, Imagine the Slow King um, will take the hit because it's going to be like Shuckaberry or something like that. But I believe, or it could be Trick Room, but I think I, if it goes for Trick Room, then my Zerud is going to uh, be slower than the Kilowattrel. I think I win this. I mean, it's always scary because um, Slow King can do a ton of stuff. I mean, Headlong Rush to like max HP, I destroy it. So, I imagine a Shucka, but I think I take, like, Zarud should kill with a Crunch. And this is going to come in. Yeah, I mean, I think I go for the kill here. I should kill this. It does, like, 106% min. Wait, you're Scarfed? What? Modest Scarf? Oh no.
Oh, well, that's really bad. Mana's Garf, I think I'd probably lose. Um, I'm not going to ounce Kilowattro. Oh, man, I was really confused by this set. Uh, okay, so rude. Because I'm not going to... Well, he might not kill me with a hit. I guess I go for Trailblaze and see what happens. Okay, he's going to land. It'd be nice if he missed a hit. Oh, he's going to just kill me. Oh, man. So, Modest, Scarf, Kill, Aladro. And he land all the hits, too. Uh, that's unfortunate. So, so JV missed his hits. Um, I won the game. Monte or, uh, Mephesto uh, landed all his hits and won. And now uh, Monte, land, Monte landed his hits and won. So... Uh, that's unfortunate there. Um, and that was like a, a high roll to kill my Zarud too. Um, I would have got a Trailblaze off and then probably have... Uh, I don't know. I guess I go for a Crunch. Um, I mean, it really depends on what his Sloking set was. I might have been able to kill with a Crunch uh, because I am Black Glasses. I didn't get rocked up, so that would have been unfortunate. But, man, so... It looks like he lands his hurricane. <laughs> I did land mine in, in our game, but that's all right. Uh, so we're down to one and two. It's always it's always fun to play Mounte. Uh, again, check out his stuff down below, and make sure you get it to a thousand subs. Definitely deserves it. Uh, but we're one and two, but definitely not out of it. Uh, but yeah, until next time, later, guys.